Hello and welcome to episode 1 of Raising the Robins, our brand new series on Foot Merger 2019. And as you can see, I have taken, well if you've seen the trailer as well, I've taken charge of what is basically my local team, or used to be my local team. I'm still within about a 10 minute walk, now, probably a bit longer than that. I'm technically close to Sutton now, but Cole Shorten is still with the team. If I get a chance to go to any games at the weekend and I'm not going to Arsenal, it's, they're the team I go to. So yeah, the, the, the Robins. Um, great little team to support so I thought why not bring them into my main save uh, for Football Manager 19 something a bit different I want to do a lower league save this year and again you can probably hear my voice I'm still suffering from this cold and uh, whatnot it's just absolutely <laughs> strangling my voice and, and everything but I wanted to get this series up and running out and ready to go so this is coming out on the Monday uh, basically what's going to happen is this is going to be sort of part one of the introduction of the team and what we're sort of planning to do episode 2 on Wednesday will be sort of follow up I was going to do it in one video but with everything I've kind of planned I think that would be quite a long video so I think it would be very good just to break it up uh, into two and then we'll come back to the first game on the Friday uh, if I can break if I can do more and get a bit ahead I can do five days next week I will but I just think with this cold and stuff the plan for that has, has kind of gone out the window a little bit uh, first of all I do need to shout out uh, FM Editor um, I'm going to drop a link to the description if I remember to when editing and doing the uh, description in the video uh, but he's basically responsible for the database uh, that lets it when it goes down to like level 10 I think we're in level 7 which is the Bostic uh, the Ismian League Bostic Premier League which I, yeah, like I, say, I think is tier 7 but more about that yeah so just a big shout out to him so he's got the, all the teams in there most of the players in from what I could tell um, I did have a from what I know and what I've read there were a few players missing from Cole Shaw's team so I've either gone into the game, found them and added them in myself uh, if they were all in the database or there's a couple of young players particularly I've added in myself. Now the, the downside to that is where it's given them a wage it has kind of pushed transfer budgets um, and wage budgets to this team to a little bit towards breaking point. But again that's probably going to be, that will be in this episode, it'll be later, later in this episode, that's the plan for this one. So yeah, shout out to him, uh, Big Fox, go check it out if you haven't already. He does these databases every year, I've done. I did download it last year but I never got around to actually doing a lower league save, I just kind of carried on with my Arsenal save. So, yeah, so this, this episode is kind of just a bit of a background about the club. So Cole Shorten, the main rivals include, as I mentioned before, Sutton United, they're literally 10 minutes the other way. Cole Shorten are 10 minutes one way, Sutton are kind of 10 minutes the other way. But when I lived in well, a place called Wallington, which was nearer to Cole Shorten, I had friends living in Cole Shorten. I was born in Carl Shorten as well. They were the obvious choice for, for me to, to go with. So we've gone with them. Um, another rivalry is AFC Wimbledon. Although to be fair, they've sort of flown through the divisions now and they're in like what League One League I think they're in League One. Um, so what's that like four leagues higher, something like that in the in the pyramid? So the rivalry isn't quite as succinct as, as it used to be. Um, I think is that the right word, succinct? I think so. Uh, we've also got Kingstonian who are floating around these kind of leagues as well and Tooting and Mitcham who where I grew up were probably actually the closest team to me apart from Wimbledon where they were at Plough Lane before they moved to uh, Crystal Palace and Crystal Palace isn't a million miles from me either I've gone to a few of those games as well so that kind of covers the rivalries which I think we'll have a look or we'll see on here if that is how they're actually listed in the game or it should be so as you can see, founded in 1905, Bostic Premier League, semi-professional, uh, one-star local reputation, okay finances, I'm manager, we haven't got the captain, the vice captain set yet. The kits, I did try to create my own, I had a bit of trouble last year with Shakhtar getting them to actually work. I did get some displays on this screen here, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse because I think my recording software uh, re removes the mouse. But I couldn't get them to do that at all on FM18. On FM19 now I did, but it literally showed the template, so I don't know if that was working. So I've, I've found a kit pack, there's a guy, I can't remember his name now, uh, but he's on the forums and stuff, uh, I don't know what else. He's done, I think, to like tier 8 or 9 or so, maybe even tier 10, he's done the kits. So I've got that, and these are the kits that um, Carl Short and I are rocking this year. Uh, we've got a £5,000 capacity. 5,000 5, people capacity stadium which is the War Memorial Sports Ground which is on the top of my head um, Colston Avenue which I, I, I actually kind of refer to it more as Colston Avenue and they've got an all-weather pitch so they've got the artificial synthetic pitch uh, I think they're one of the few teams in the league to actually have it one of the first 
and they've actually also recently this year introduced like a pay to go season ticket as well so if i can get a bit more time at the weekends which is something i do want to try and introduce into this video a little bit is a vlog spin-off i guess of some of the cold short games if i can get a chance to go to them i haven't been this season unfortunately but if i can introduce that and go with that that's something i'll do but yeah a pay and I'll, the pay to go season ticket i think would suit me down to the ground so i think you pay for, for the pass so you just sort of pay for the games you go which is which is quite cool uh, in terms of what we're we looking at here, the rivalries, what we were looking for, general, the rivals, Sutton, the AFC United, the AFC Wimbledon, sorry, so Kingstonian aren't showing, um, nor are Tooting and Mitchum, but I mean, they're not far away at all, not really at all, and they're quite close in terms of league status as well, so what else do we need to look at on here, uh, there's nothing on this screen at the moment, but famous, there's no legends, there's no icons, there's no favourite personnel, so that, well, there's one icon actually, Matt Elverson. I don't know who he is. I'm not familiar with him. So it's a clean slate. So we can probably jump on here and on this screen. I'd imagine fairly quick. Obviously, the Shakhtar one was a big challenge trying to get to be a legend. And it took basically the duration of the save. And I think it was after we left that we actually got the, the status. So it wasn't during our tenure there. Um, but famous players who aren't listed here. Uh, you've got Vic Akers, um, who's obviously the former Arsenal kit man. Um, and the Arsenal ladies manager. I think he... He might even still be the kit man, but he left the Arsenal ladies team and he led them to so many leagues and FA Cups. A bit of a decline since he left, but I think they're sort of on the up again now. Uh, there was Moses Ashikodi, who I think was actually might have been an Arsenal youth player. Certainly Millwall. He was a pretty good player, one of the early FMs I seem to recall as well. So he, he played there. I think he was there maybe last season, the season before. I'm pretty sure I saw him live. Because I recognise the name on the, on the programme. I'm pretty sure he was there then. Uh, we've got Joe Dolan, who was uh, Millwall CM0102 Hall of Famer. Uh, we've got Peter Fear, who obviously played in the Premier League for Wimbledon back in the 90s. Uh, Boncho Gwenchev, he ended his career there. He's a, a Bulgarian, I think. Tom Mahel was a goalkeeper or striker, I can't remember which one he was. Played for Reading, I think, primarily over here, but he did end his career uh, yeah, at Carl Shorten. Uh, Boy Hodgson, former England manager, current Palace manager, uh, had some playing time here. Uh, Lenny Lawrence, again very familiar to Palace fans, he's, so he's obviously a bit of a local lad, he had some time here as well. And Andy Salarco, who is the brother of John Salarco, who sort of turned out for Coventry, Crystal Palace. So quite a strong, a lot of strong links with Crystal Palace. Um, and in terms of links and stuff I'm, I'm mentioning, I've got quite a few links, not so much to Cole Shorten, but to a lot of the teams we can face. My wife's mum's cousin uh, is a former footballer professional footballer played for Newcastle Tottenham and Charlton I think Leighton Orient among others and he him and that side of the family they've, and one of his brothers was as well uh, very familiar with everyone sort of uh, all the clubs around his dad managed a lot of the local clubs like Whitehawk Croydon that sort of thing uh, before they went out of business unfortunately I think they're on the I think they're back again now but they're working their way up and yes yeah, so they know a lot of the Crystal Palace set up that sort of things. I've always seen him at parties with various footballers and stuff so there's a bit of a I mean not a link to me directly but I guess through, through my wife um, yes I mentioned we're in the ESPN League this year Bostic Premier League Division 7 uh, Tier 7 uh, actually gosh it's actually newly promoted they've been in the um, ESPN League South for what about three or four years now uh, following the relegation previously I think it's about 2014 15 something like that but now yeah promoted the Premier League so it's going to be interesting to see you know sort of how we get on because not only are we lower league and we're going into this game having been sort of used to Champions League football and Champions League teams last season and dominating leagues we're now not only a lower league team we are actually a promoted team so it makes the challenge a little bit difficult and we will look at in fact we'll look at it now we'll look at the league table and see uh, we'll see what sort of teams we're going to be going up with so teams I sort of know are familiar with Burgess Town Again, I, I've been there a few times to Burgess Hill. Uh, I think it's just outside Brighton, if I recall. If it's what I think, it's the same place I'm thinking. Corinthian Casuals. I remember seeing bumper stickers and stuff on cars when I was younger around where I lived. They must be somewhere like around there. What's their address? I'm not too sure. But I used to see that quite regularly, and I've seen them play against Carl Shorten as well uh, last season, I think. Maybe the season before. Might have been. Uh, yeah, I think it may have been. Kingston, as I mentioned, they're in, in, they're in this team. Uh, we've got Leatherhead. I've been seeing them a few times, I can't think why. Uh, Jimmy Bullard was obviously manager of them, wasn't he, for a little while? Perhaps that was why. Uh, White Hawk, uh, sort of around here, I've been to a few weddings in their, in their, um, in their, 
in their venue if you like and yeah a few places I've been but not really too many that I know as a football from a football point of view we are 150 this league is 157 most reputable, reputable league uh, there is Willstone obviously Willstone Raider <laughs> Uh, have won it in sort of recent years. Sutton United, obviously, they're now, I think, what, one off the conference, maybe even in the conference. Billericay have won it, haven't a Waterlooville. I used to live in Winchester, so I know them quite well. Hampton and Richmond, a uh, friend I went to school with, a bit older than me, played for them briefly. Just trying to see if Golf Short and sort of feature here at all, not in recent history. So, not seeing anything there. So, we'll have a look at the season preview, see where it thinks we're going to finish. Now, I don't know if this has been featured focused into the um, into the editor and the database I assume it has I, I don't know if in real life Kingstonian are expected to go top through this group top and I don't think they are looking that way I might, I might be wrong I haven't really looked at this division well, I'll flash that up in a minute actually because I have looked at the preview so at the moment Cole Shorten currently stand um, ninth after 8 games 24 points so not a bad return from the promoted team so about, what's that about midway just above midway in the table, so that's pretty good. And um, they're on a bit of a good run at the moment, I believe. I, like I said, I haven't caught too much of the results and stuff. I do follow them on um, Twitter and on their YouTube channel as well. They, there's, there's some goals. You get Robin's TV comes up with the goals and the, the highlights and stuff. And Leroy Lita plays for Margate. He's only 33. What a dropping career that's sort of turned into. <laughs> really, he was, you know, down to about here. He was playing around the Premier League and Championship, and suddenly he's just sort of descended into nothingness really and he's now in the seventh tier but probably one of the better players in the league to be fair so yeah this expects us to finish 17th we were promoted along with Corinthian Casual so it was last season I must have seen them they did get promoted as well Potter's Bar and AFC Hornchurch and Lewis actually so that's what five teams got promoted six teams Haringey as well okay we'll have a look at that in a minute did that many get relegated and promoted uh, and then relegated from the, the division above is Whitehawk and Bogner Regis. So if we go to 22 teams, so three go down. Let's have a look at the division below. One comes up and then there's playoffs. So I'm not quite sure how so many people it has listed as promoted. I think that's possibly a little bit of a bug in the editor, but there's little things like that are going to pop up every now and then. I'll mention it to uh, FM Editor. I'm sure if he wants to, he'll, he'll take it out, but it's not that big a deal, is it really? the grand scheme of everything um, so we'll have a look at our fixtures as well schedule I need to rename it can you rename them no it's a shame you can't because I, I need to rename and uh, something I've learned on FM19 I don't think it was FM18 but you can jiggle these around you can reorder them which I did by absolute accident um, funnily enough but yeah so friendlies we've got AFC Dunstable, Tootenham Mitcham, Beaconsfield, Abingdon United and after the league starts we've got Kings Langley but our first game is against Margate and Leroy Lita, it is at home. So yeah, we've got a good few months. So we will obviously for Friday, I will come back and do that Margate first game episode. I think it'll be a good barometer for maybe where we're at and where we can start to look, you know, really sort of look at pushing on. Uh, what else have I got to talk to this episode? I think that kind of finishes it for the episode, this episode really. Uh, the second episode, which I'm going to bring out on Friday, uh, Wednesday even, is going to focus more on the squad, the tactics we're looking to employ the ideas I've got around the save and how I want to progress this team, what we're going to do, the sort of squad views I'm using, potentially the training I'm looking at, any sort of players we're looking at, maybe gaps in the squad, more specific squad stuff. So we'll be back on Wednesday for that. Uh, until then, uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, please do drop a like. In the meantime, uh, drop, uh, drop a sub to the channel if you do as well. Help you uh, keep on top of all the episodes as they come out. I am aware there's quite a lot of people dropping lower league saves pretty much now this edit has come out seems to be quite popular this year obviously Benji did it last year with Thames FC and that went down like most of his saves you know phenomenally um, we got uh, Golden FM's doing his regen rovers I think he started possibly below me and second yellow card who's Stockport save I'm absolutely loving at the moment I love his full save as well I'm glad he's back in the community and uh, producing again uh, producing content again because he's absolutely amazing but he's doing Stockport which I think is one or two tiers above this then just outside the Vanarama conference so again yeah I'm aware there's a lot of competition but hopefully if you're enjoying it you'll, you'll come back for more and like I say there's more of a personal twist with this one for me because they are my local team I am not committing to anything but hoping to do the vlog thing like I mentioned as well and sort of intertwine that between episodes and 
after the weekend and stuff like that. I haven't really thought it completely through yet, but but hopefully. And yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you've got any comments in the meantime as well, drop them below. Always reply to my comments, and I, I, I appreciate every comment I get, every like I get, every subscription I get. Um, I have noticed that my numbers are starting to some for some reason drop. I don't know if it's because there was a big boost because of the Arsenal save, and now that's kind of slowed down that they're coming away. I'm not too sure. But we've got dropped from like 75 to 73. But I'm hoping that by Christmas could at least be on maybe 100 by the end of the year. That would be fantastic uh, to get that get that growth coming back and hopefully that will happen. I am thinking of sort of keeping the Arsenal save ticking over uh, at least for one more season with the Champions League introduction. We'll see how that goes and with time and stuff and if I can get rid of this damn cold. Uh, but yeah, until next time for the squad overview and that sort of stuff, I'll see you later. Take care.